Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. Too many white people is a problem for the whitest sport in the history of sports. The National Hockey League's first internal demographic study found its workforce is overwhelmingly white. The NHL. It's shocking, I know. The NHL's executive vice president of social impact, who I'm sure sees a lot of eye rolls every single time she addresses her company, says seeing the numbers is a step towards fixing the problem. It is a progressive outlook on how you begin to manage your talent. And it is progressive in that it's a self-identified report. So of our 4,200, approximately 4,200 employees across the league and the club, 67% of our employees participated in it, and this is how they self-identified. The nervous white guy standing right beside her, uh, kind of half shaking his head the whole time, is really the best part of the video, actually. You wonder what he really thinks about all of this, what he says to his buddies when he's out golfing on the weekends, and how stupid the entire league thinks all of this is. That's what you really wonder. Moving on, Kamala Harris asked what some of her favorite parts of the Inflation Reduction Act are. I mean, so much. So I'm, I'm, one of the things that I'm very excited about is what we have been doing in terms of electric vehicles. Um, and I, I have a particular fondness, I must tell you, for electric school buses. I love electric school buses. <laughs> Yeah, Kamala, we know you love buses. You nearly tanked Biden's shot at the White House talking about busing. So we know you're a big fan of buses, whether they're electric or, you know, gas powered, any kind of bus. She's, she's a big fan of busing. By the way, Kamala, on her third new speechwriter, uh, <laughs> they think that's going to help. Yeah. Aside from that, the fact that these clowns think that this country is someday going to be run totally by electric vehicles and we're just going to be zero carbon. It's just so funny to listen to when they have these little speeches and they just sound so, I mean, completely absent from reality is the space that all of these people live in. Either that or they're just flat out lying because they know they're just going to make a fortune off of the green energy lobby like we talk about all the time. Finally, one more great moment from the Marco Rubio Val Demings Florida Senate debate last night, and it was a good debate. They're not all good. This one was. Rubio calls out Demings for doing absolutely nothing over her last six years in Congress. Her response was priceless. There is not a single federal law on the books that she sponsored and got passed. Not one. I think she named two post offices. It's embarrassing that you think that honoring a person who is a hero by naming a federal building after them is nothing. I think honoring a police officer who was killed in the line of duty is everything, Senator. Aside from the fact that, sure, it's great to honor a police officer killed in the line of duty, what Marco Rubio effectively just said to her was that you don't do anything. Naming a post office does not impact anybody's life except that officer and his family, and that's fine. But you're in Congress. You're supposed to be writing laws and changing the country. Rubio basically said, you're doing nothing all day long. And she said, yeah, that's true, but you should still be impressed. <laughs> it's just a great moment.